Well, today, those making demands for justice in the Trayvon Martin case marched to the Florida Capitol. It's the same day 44 years ago when Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. ABC 27's Ty Wilson joins us now live from downtown Tallahassee with the latest. Ty, what can you tell us? The crowd is pretty small out here, but they are very passionate. This march began at the Tallahassee Civic Center, and they've made their way here to where I am on the plaza area between the old and new Capitol buildings. Take a look for yourself. You can see a pretty good sized crowd out here. Right now you're looking at some speakers. Maybe about 100 or so people took part in the march, but a lot of people just came straight to the plaza to be a part of this. The National Christian League of Councils organized the march. They wanted to do this back on February 23rd, but they had to cancel it because they could get the proper insurance. They expected 4,000 people for that march. Today, again, like I said, about one to 200 people march for Trayvon Martin and his family. They yelled justice for Trayvon, and as they marched and yelled, people who supported him honked from their cars. The NCLC wants to keep pressure on officials and to keep the Trayvon Martin murder in the spotlight, hoping for justice. Justice for them would be for George Zimmerman to be arrested and face some type of murder charge. They marched on this day also to honor Martin Luther King Jr., who was killed on this particular day, April 4th, more than four decades ago. Also, the NCLC plans on more marches. As you can see, people are speaking right now. People are seated. The NCLC tells me they do plan more marches in the future, and they also tell me that this particular march was backed by Trayvon Martin's parents. Reporting live between the old and new Capitol, I'm Ty Wilson, ABC 27 HD. Okay, thanks, Ty.